Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my Invisible Man uh, movie review. I just saw this movie this weekend with a friend, and um, I really enjoyed this movie. I've never been one for the uh, Universal Monster types of movies, um, and this, I guess it technically kind of is. It falls into that category with the mummy and whatnot. And uh, I had a really good time with this movie. Um, I thought the writing was pretty tight except at the end. At the end, in my opinion, it seemed really, really tacked on. Um, I, it almost feels like they watched the movie and it was done. And then they decided, no, do this at the end. And in the end, nothing there made any sense. It, it, it derailed a lot of the things. It's like these last five minutes, I feel like it was a reshoot of some sort. And it just didn't, it didn't flow well for me. Now, this, uh, this movie is directed by uh, Leigh Whannell. Leigh Whannell is the guy who did the first Saw movie, the Insidious movies, and Upgrade. I'm a big fan of the Saw franchise. Insidious is okay. I think it's okay. Um, I love Saw, and I really loved Upgrade. Um, Upgrade, he wrote that movie, and that movie was fantastic. Um, way underappreciated. I wish it would have done a lot better. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely say that this guy is an up-and-coming guy. Um, I don't know what Universal had had planned for The Invisible Man, but this is definitely, this was great. It was refreshing. If I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be refreshing. Um, because it's good to see something like this where it's, where it's, it's, it's like a sci-fi uh, kind of a horror. I do think that they, they should not have called it The Invisible Man. I think they should have called it Invisible or... Uh, I don't know, The Vanished or something like that, because when you know it's The Invisible Man, it takes away the suspense, um, and they kind of ruin that in the trailer, and even in the title, because they could have played with it in the sense that, like when you're watching the trailer, you don't know if it's a ghost, if it's a spirit, if it's a specter, a demon, or, or what, and I think it would have been that much more fun to not know. But everyone kind of knows it's an invisible man and it's some kind of technology. And he was an optics guy. Um, so that uh, it didn't ruin the movie, but it it it, um, it reduced the amount of suspense and, and, and horror that you felt. Uh, but I still had a I had a, I had a great time up until the end was kind of it was really sloppy at the end. It really seemed like a tacked on ending. But um, even so, um, on the Star Strider scale, I ranked this movie seventy seven out of a hundred. And uh, the word for this movie is just uh, refreshing. I really look forward to seeing more from Leigh Whannell. Um, I also thought that uh, Elizabeth Moss' performance was really good. Um, I also think, I, I've heard some people criticize, like, oh, how is this Invisible Man that strong? I think they established in the beginning of the movie when he punched through the window that this guy's strong and he's a big guy. So um, I, I had no problem with that. What I had a problem with was the begin uh, as at the end. Because they made things not make sense at the end because of some tacked on ending. It was clearly tacked on. I'd, I'd, li I'd, I'd like to really ask. Um, anyways, um, let me know what you guys thought. Did you guys see this movie? Did you guys like this movie? Um, let me know. Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe and I will see you later. Okay, bye.